Hey everybody, welcome back to RPG Imaginings. Package in the mail today. And uh, I've been cracking away at my new job and feeling good and uh, doing my best. And one of the big perks of my new job is that if I work really hard Monday through Thursday, my Fridays can be a lot lighter. And so I just got some work done at home today. And I'm really grateful for that opportunity. And this happened to arrive at a time in which it was easy for me to do a video. So here we go. This is from R. Talzorian Games. Pretty well packed. Should get the packing slip out of the way. Okay. And what do we have inside the box? We have Cyberpunk. And those of you who are viewers of the channel know that I've gotten back into cyberpunk recently. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, not because of the Cyberpunk Edge Runners anime series, but I had gotten back into cyberpunk and then noticed that there was an anime series. But to be fair, I have been watching our Talzorian games closely recently because there is a brand new book that came out, and we will check out that one uh, last year. Um, first off, some of these are uh, Cyberpunk 2020 books. This would be an example, Neo Tribes. And this is something that I especially want to talk to community members about because one of the things that I enjoy most about the role-playing hobby is that many of these supplements contain story ideas that can be used in a wide variety of games. And I would argue that cyberpunk, regardless of whether you actually play the game, which I think you should play the game because it's an awesome RPG, um, cyberpunk is an example of a game that because it is near future, sort of post-apocalyptic, a lot of the ideas work really, really well with um, other games that are po post-apocalyptic apocalyptic themed. So materials in these books would work great for Apocthulhu or uh, even Twilight 2000 or Fallout. Uh, there are just lots of games where bringing aspects of the universe created by Mike Pondsmith would be excellent for that game. And I mean, this, this book, this Neo tribes book, which focuses largely on nomads. Okay. Sort of roving groups that are around different parts of the U S during this time any of these groups could be popped into a typical near post-apocalyptic game. Um, are they working on a Mad Max Fury Road RPG? I can't remember if that's the case. Post down in the comments if you've heard something about the possibility of a Mad Max uh, post-apocalyptic game. Wow, this book is super information rich. There's a lot of writing that went into this, and so I'm interested in diving into this because the beauty of a book like uh, Neo Tribes is that there's just a lot of factional information that could result in a lot of ideas for a wide variety of games. Uh, these books are available at uh, rtelsoriangames.com, and they're really reasonable priced. So I think Neo Tribes is like $14, and then I want to say also $14 is Wildside. And so Wildside focuses on uh, street-level situations, I think mainly fixers. Yep. Okay, so this is the fixer uh, book. And, you know, I've been looking through old cyberpunk supplements, deciding which ones I would find really interesting. Not all of the class books in cyberpunk interest me okay so the solo books don't really interest me at all but the fixer book did interest me and wild side also comes highly recommended by members of the community so you know if you do a basic search on 
popular cyber t- cyberpunk 2020 uh, supplements or uh, classic 2020 supplements, Wild Side is frequently mentioned by people. And so the role of a fixer in cyberpunk is essentially somebody who gets missions, gets people to solve problems. Um, I don't know. Is it fair to call a fixer kind of a financial pimp? (laughs) Because that sort of seems to me like what they are. Um, Let's see what the back says. Wow. Okay. Uh, please don't do yellow text on, <laughs> on gray back. That's life on the street and nobody knows it better than the man in the middle, the man who keeps the goods and info flowing, the fixer in this hot new supplement for everyone's favorite deal makers. You'll get down to the dark underbelly of cyberpunk, the grungy, nervous, jury rigged and illegal milieu of the urban go between where money meets the street and the real business of 2020 survival begins. And so, you know, maybe bookie <laughs> is a better description of, of what a fixer is a uh, high tech bookie. Um, but being a fixer is more than just shady alleyway deals. I think that that says ally way deals. There should be any in there. Uh, Wild Side also lets you dive into the high rise world of the financial factors, the backstage manipulations of agents and managers, and the esoteric coinage of the info bros with then data man networks or with their data man network. See, I can't read yellow text against the gray background. Okay. Specialize your fixer in over a dozen different ways from high moving salesmen and money bags to the low life leeches and go betweens, create your own organizations in parentheses. I'm sorry, not parentheses in quotations. I don't understand why organizations is in quotations. Okay, from setting up and running a business, also in quotations, to a detailed dissection of the street environment, Wildside gives you the details up close and in your face. So are organizations and business in quotation marks incorrectly because of attempting to use quotes for emphasis? Or is it because the way that an organization and business is is defined as a fixer is beyond what the everyday definition is? I'm not sure. Uh, anyway... Think you were cyberpunk before? You didn't know half, Chumba. Now you're looking boga, dodging the gavalt, and fulfilling your girl the hard way. Now you're walking the wild side. Anyway, so this one is 1993. Wild side. Neo Tribes, 1995. It's nice that these are still available. And then the brand new release for Cyberpunk Red... Tales of the Red Street Stories. And I've been watching this for a while. It's a really nice book. And actually, for a hardcover book at $40, I, I think the, the price is very fair, um, given that there are hardcover books that are consistently going to $60. Um, but yeah, this looks great. This is uh, 90 adve- or this is nine adventures for Cyberpunk Red. Uh, Cyberpunk Red does put a really interesting spin on the timeline. So it takes place in 2045 after the Fourth Corporate War. And the seminal event that happens during the Fourth Corporate War is that uh, somebody detonates a, a small nuclear device at the top of Arasaka Tower. And that basically... Uh, irradiates a huge portion of Central Night City. But radiation isn't really the issue. It's the collapse of the economy. Um, The artwork looks really cool in here. Okay. Really cool. I mean, this is the the artwork and layout have been uh, updated to a modern format. We have black text on white background, which I am a huge fan of. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Um... And the cartography is okay. Um, I'm not crazy about these red and brown checkered floor plans. I mean, aesthetically it's pleasing, but it's not very useful from a game perspective. We have diagrams of the net architecture for certain places, so that's cool. I am really going to enjoy reading this book. Um, It's just a really great looking book with a variety of adventures for cyberpunk 
And uh, in addition to another scenario book that I got, I want to say it's Forlorn something, uh, another scenario bo uh, book that I got for 2020, I think that this is really going to help me to understand a little bit more about how cyberpunk plays in preparation for running it and playing it myself. Now, uh, we have some nice advertisements here at the end of the book. Um, our Telsorian Games also has the Witcher IP for role-playing games. Um, and then we have miniatures and uh, a miniatures game, actually. Um, uh, net running deck cards, which includes a variety of different types of cards to set up different uh, net running missions for edge runners. And then this is some of the beautiful, most beautiful end art I've seen in a book, honestly. That is just gorgeous. So, yeah, that's a good purchase. Okay. And so I bought this direct from rtelzorian.com and. Uh, the shipment got to me in less than a week, which is awesome. Actually, you know what? I think I ordered this on Monday or Sunday, Sunday or Monday. I can't remember. I ordered this Sunday or Monday and I got it, uh, today, uh, Friday. So that's really quick. Now I live in middle America and because of that, you know, all shipping routes, basically run through my little neck of the woods. And so, uh, it is entirely possible that I, that I get packages a lot more quicker than some people do. So, you know, no guarantees for you, but that is a cool set of books for cyberpunk. And if you played cyberpunk 2077 and have gotten into role-playing games recently, or if you watch cyberpunk edge runners, uh, and are now interested in the cyberpunk TTRPG, or if you had been on the lookout for Tales of the Red Street Stories, it's out now and you can get it from rtelsorian.com. So I wanted to share that with everybody and uh, I hope you all have a great weekend and I'm going to have more stuff coming at you from RPG Imaginings. Have a great day.